<laughs> well, to get enrolled at the first place, you have to have a TSSCI to start with, so we'll go from there. Uh, but we do have a... Do uh, I have to pass a lifestyle poly? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I take that, I retract that question. Good, because I didn't want to have to answer it for you. <laughs> so, we, we enroll right now through the, uh, through the Air Force process and through the Air, uh, Air Force Space Command. Uh, they're the keepers of our, our gate, as it were. Uh, we're also working on joint certification for our classes, and we've had a couple of Army folks come through, and we're working with the Marine Corps to get them to come through as well. Um, and what was the first part of the question? Um, what are we doing how's different? It different? How's it different from the Air Force or from the Army and the Navy? And some of it's some of it's a mindset. Um, you heard TJ talk about you know, not having a good career path for his soldiers, and that's that's pretty much a tragedy. Um, there are folks out there doing some really good stuff, and we're losing them to industry because we're not letting them go do the good stuff that they do so well. Uh, one difference is that the Air Force has built a career track for some of these folks. Uh, we're getting them at least to the, from the E-4 up to the E-9 level, and we're getting them from the O-1, the lieutenant, up to at least lieutenant colonel or colonel. Our training is for officers, enlisted, civilian, and some contractors, depending on the nature of the contract. Uh, we concentrate on crew training the tactics and processes and the methods that go along with there to follow the policy. We get them involved with the technology so we're making them better war fighters and we're integrating them into the joint fight. 